Hi Pisces, welcome to your spiritual gifts and life purpose reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Pisces. This is a general reading, so please keep that in mind. To only take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for someone who needs to hear this message. So my intentions for this reading, Pisces, I'm trying something brand new here, is to ask spirit about your divine spiritual gifts, what they're meant to bring into this world, how you could be guided into your life purpose. And I just felt like it was the time to do this reading as we're heading into Mercury retrograde. And a lot seems to be confusing us, stumbling us. So I want to get us right on the right path. So I hope you're excited for this because I'm super excited. Let's go ahead and begin this reading. I'm first going to do a mini meditation with you guys to clear, set the energy. But if you just want to jump right on into the card pool to see what the cards have to say, check out the pinned comment below with all the timestamps. For those of you here with me now, thank you so much for joining me. It really does help me connect with your energy. So I'm going to ask everyone to take a deep breath, ring the sound bowl three times, and during that time, I just want you to open up your energy to ask the questions about your gifts, your life purpose, and we'll go from there. So... Let's go ahead and take that deep breath in. And tune into the energy of Pisces. All right, Pisces, let's go ahead and see what spirit has to tell you about your gifts, what you're meant to bring into this world, and your divine life path, what you're yet to still accomplish. Let's go ahead and see what are some of the natural gifts Pisces is born with, brought into this world with. Tell me about this energy for Pisces spirit. What is Pisces natural gift? Ooh, okay. Let's see what this card is. So you guys have the hummingbird with miracles. This touches my heart. It says, you are the joy bringer. You bless the world with positivity and love. Energy soars on your shining wings. Spread the miracle of happiness. Pisces, you are just meant to help lift humanity. You are meant to bring your sweetness, your kindness into this world. To teach people that kindness in the long run rewards you more than any cruelty, any greediness can. And I know looking at the world, we see a bunch of people that succeed through horrible things, but the truth always comes to light. I'm not gonna name any specific celebrities, but we're seeing some now come through after a long legacy of success and uh, good fortune. Now the truth is coming out and they're getting their day of reckoning. So I just want to say, Pisces, as you stay positive, as you stay happy, as you bring happiness to those, you are just like the light in people's lives. You are someone that people think about and smile, that just know you're a good person in and out. And you do so much to help others, to heal others, to be there for others. And it's very much appreciated. And I gotta say, when it says energy soars on your shining wings, like I definitely feel a lot of you guys are earth angels or maybe even angel seeds. You guys have angelic spirits. You guys are connected to the angelic realms. Maybe even some of them you have like a long-term association with from the very beginning of your essence being created. And you can call upon the angels and you can ask for angelic power to be brought into your life to help you do the right thing to help guide you in the best possible way and to get the best dharma coming into your life. But you are a miracle bringer, Pisces. You are someone that is meant to experience little miracles in this lifetime. And if some of you are stuck and, you know, when going through a tough time, that's all about to end. Based on the way you handled the situation, the based on the way you have up overcome and uprised against any challenges, 
I do feel you're about to see a big payoff in the energy you bring because whatever you send out to the universe always gets returned to you. And I feel that you are about to receive your tenfold Pisces. So tell me more about this hummingbird energy that Pisces brings. Tell me more. Okay. Then we have the communicator with Mercury. Interesting Gemini energy, Virgo energy here. Words have power. You are a manifester very clearly here. And not only that, but your words carry a lot of power and have a lot of effect on people. So it says truthful, outspoken, flexible, clear, quick, relatable, friendly, intelligent, open-minded, intuitive, psychological, discriminating, informed, and articulate. I feel very strong air energy here. So some of you could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, rising, or moon. And I love that combination of air and water that I see in some people. So it's like, Pisces, you deliver the messages that need to be said. I wonder if a lot of you do work in divination you do work in, um, you know, being a speaker, a motivator. You do know exactly what to say to people to get that inner fight within them again or to bring the joy into their lives again. I do feel even with like exes, I know this can be a little awkward to bring up, but like your last say is something they'll always remember. And I think a lot of people who may have cut ties with you, romances, friends, um, family members just wish they could reach out to you again, wish that they could, you know, tell you that how proud they are of you, of how much you've changed and how much you've grown. And they've been watching you from afar, or at least psychically tuning into your energy and just seeing the amount that you've learned and grown from and to either hear about it or see it on social media is something that they're very proud of. That's a message for someone out there. But absolutely, your words carry power. The things you say to yourself, the things that you say to others have magic behind them. Someone could be wearing navy blue right now, um, or blue is someone's favorite color or a color. Wow, okay. Let's get into the tarot to dive deeper into this. You are meant to be a messenger of divine angelic energy whether you could do that through spirituality, whether you do that through creativity. You're meant to share your gift of messages to the world, Pisces. Okay, so first we have intuition. I'm not surprised to see this for my Pisces. You guys are born with the sixth sense. And I'm really drawn to this spider here at the bottom of this card. And I wonder if you guys have seen a spider recently or have always felt something with spider energy. But you guys are intuitively guided to spin a web that has profound effects even far beyond what you see. I mean, I do feel Pisces, like, even if there was, like, a stranger you helped, like, answer a question to or helped kind of when they were in a situation that um, they needed assistance and, like, your assistance in that has made such a profound effect in that specific person's life. If that's not your message, bear with me for a second. But like someone you came to the rescue of or helped out in and could have been a complete stranger, you by stepping in and doing the right thing has changed them completely. But a lot of you guys need to know the power of your intuition to never second guess it. And even if you found yourself being like, well, I listened to my intuition, but it led me down this like huge cycle karmic situation that I would have never have wanted to get into. Your intuition led you there so you could release that karma. It's not wrong, Pisces. It's just a certain way of how you have to release the karma in order to grow and bring more dharma into your life is why you were led there originally but your intuition is so powerful and so on point never doubt it Pisces tell me more about this energy Pisces gifts the two of cups wow cancer energy Pisces you have the gift of forming meaningful deep soul binding connections and everyone's life that you come into, you affect it in some way, in a positive way, I want to say, in a way that makes them feel loved, appreciated, uplifted, cared for. You have this essence of love, Pisces, that's so rare to come by. 
not a lot of people experience a uh, love like yours. Again, whether that is romantic or platonic, it can work both ways. Tell me more about Pisces gifts. Okay. Then we have the five of pentacles. Ooh, interesting. Taurus energy. You see through the ego, the fears, especially in like social media, especially in like capitalism, especially in marketing, where they always, you know, the purpose is to make you feel as if you don't have enough. The purpose is to make you feel as if only the material things can show off your success and wealth. You have seen through that from the start. And even when people, especially because you are very um, well sought after romantically, I feel for a lot of you, try to flex on you with the amount of money they make or what they buy and what they wear. And that they think that that player play yet energy is really something that attracts people. It throws you off. You're like, uh-uh. Like, you are ego-based, and you can sense that in people, and sense situations like that very keenly. Like, you know, a lot of people, they could, good looks and, you know, good sex is enough for them to stay in something. You look for something deeper. You look for something that is spiritually, mentally, emotionally uplifting, not just the physical. Wow. Okay, let's go ahead and clarify these cards. Tell me more about the intuition, Pisces' gift of intuition here. Tell me more about that. So we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Whoa! Two aces here with your intuition. Your birthday could be March 1st, March 11th, um, February 21st for some of you guys. Dang! You guys can see the opportunities spiritually and physically in this world that other people have a hard time seizing those opportunities or being so linked to but you are the bridge between the divine and the earth and you are meant to help bring those messages from the divine from the universe into the lives of this the people of this earth you are meant to grow something brand new and to start something brand new on this life path journey and that is either spiritually or even something that you can grow from, you know, a business or a, a practice that you are meant to be instrumental in developing. That is amazing, Pisces. And dragon energy is very strong here. So some of you could be born, you're the dragon. In Chinese astrology, you can have a dragon tattoo. But yeah, you're meant to really bring something new into the lives of those you meet. And intuitively, you see what they, or sense what they need. Do they need more love? Do they need more, you know, support? You give that to so many Pisces in a way they've never experienced before until they met you. Tell me more about the Two of Cups here. The youth. Interesting. Pisces, you are meant in this lifetime to have very romantic flings. You are meant to kind of experience, you know, the fairy tale romances that are heard about but rarely experienced. But I feel it's coming from your pure soul of wanting to be there for someone and wanting to be in the moment with someone to explore each other, to dive deep into each other's essences. It, it strikes people and it makes people grow up. Especially, again, I just don't know why, but I feel as if some of you guys have run into player playettes who, you know, first saw you as someone that they would want to hook up with and have a good time with, but you've matured them spiritually and emotionally. Also, you could have a tendency to attract younger energies, like people that are a few years younger than you or captivated by you. But really, I do feel you're there's just the catalyst of people's growth. Tell me more about the Five of Pentacles here for Pisces gifts. How does this come through? The King of Water. Yeah, not surprised to see this Scorpio energy. And then bottom of the deck, we have the Crone. Ooh, the Crone came up in Aries reading. Interesting. But overall, yeah, you guys are, again, on this earth plane existence in this lifetime, especially to use your ancient gifts, your spiritual gifts, your angelic gifts to help people 
outgrow the ego and come more into connection with the divine. Absolutely. You are one of God's spirit, the universe's soldiers, warriors out here for that mission to help people connect more to the divine in any way you see fit to you, especially earthly matters or spiritual matters. It could be through, you know, service. It could be through um, healing. It could be through um, communicating with others, especially here with that communication mercury, sending those ideas out there, those words out there. You're meant to channel Again, like channeling and divination is big here for a lot of you guys. And um, you are much more mature than what a lot of people come to. And what I mean by that is that your soul has evolved in a very high vibration. That is rare. Okay. So with the Five of Pentacles and the King of Water, you see past manipulations. You see past people trying to use you to, you know, pull a fast one on you, you sense it and you stay away from it and you do it in a quiet way, which makes people hungry. And because it works on so many others, but not you Pisces. And I think you've been underestimated quite a bit. Um, even if let's just say someone pulled the wool over your eyes once before, they'll never do it again. And that's the memory lingering in their energy about you know, what they did to you because you didn't deserve it because it wasn't right. And it made them feel ashamed. They're haunted by it. For some of you guys, you need to be aware of this because I think it will help you let go of this. But mainly, yeah, I think you guys just see past the BS. You know that the better and higher meaning to things than money and looks and the vices of the earthly world can ever sell to you. You will never be a sellout. You will never be something that you're not. And you are very comfortable in your soul essence. Someone could have light brown eyes or hazel eyes as well that get complimented on. And it's maybe not even so much like the way it looks, but the way you stare through them. People are intimidated to make eye contact with you, Pisces. I see that as well. But the ones who fall in love with you are the ones who are your friends and family members that hold you dearly like they know that you have this pure essence of a soul that is unlike anything. Wow, okay. Tell me more about Pisces spiritual gifts, divine purpose, emotional sensitivity. This has been coming out. Virgo got this card. So if you have Virgo in your chart strongly, I suggest checking out the Virgo reading to see if there's messages for you. Honor and respect your deep sensitivity as it is a gift to us all. Okay, you know, differently than the other signs that got this card, I do feel like sometimes your spiritual gifts freak you out. Um, and what I mean by that, I, I experience this too, is like, let's just say I'm shuffling for a card for myself and out of what, the tarot? I'm sorry if I'm getting this number wrong. It's either like 72, 74, or 76 cards. I see this one card in my mind's eye and it pops out. I'm like, whoa, how did I know that was going to come out? Or like, I don't know, just maybe even foretelling things that you just had a sense of feeling about and then it happens and it freaks you out a bit. And maybe even others of you, um, especially if you came from a very orthodox background or scientific background of people that don't believe in God or people that believe in God in a very, very specific way. And just to think of, you know, metaphysical world is just a beyond what they can comprehend. Maybe you were discouraged for some time to believe in your gifts and to believe in your intuition and to allow your intuition to guide you in your decisions. So Pisces, I do feel that spirit wants to say for those of you that have been through that situation where your spiritual gifts were shunned or made fun of, you are absolutely gifted and your gifts are powerful. And I think those who come into an essence like yours, there are some who will love it, embrace it and cherish it. Like I see a few people in your life doing and there will be some that because they can't understand it, they fear it. So accept your emotional, spiritual gifts, Pisces, because they are much needed in this world. Tell me more about Pisces spiritual gift and divine purpose this lifetime. Tell me more. 
I gotta say too, don't believe the negative ego-based things people have told you. Um, you know, again, your words and your beliefs, because you're such a powerful manifester, are very impactful. And I do feel for some of you who may be like, okay, well, when is this coming? When is this happening then, these miracles? Part of why it may be blocked is because you believed all the crap some person or some people have told you about yourself and it ingrained the seed of being truth and it's not truth. And so some of you guys need to unprogram yourself from whatever you were taught about yourself that was never the case. Just throwing that out there for some of you, okay? Tell me more about Pisces gifts to this world. Okay, so we have balance career and home life with Isis. Ooh, Isis energy. I'm a Pisces rising and I have always been drawn to Isis. I'm um, from the Bay Area, California, and there's an Egyptian museum in San Jose. And I always, like when I saw like the Isis things felt so drawn to her, even since I was a young kid. So Pisces, you can have, and again, you can have success in both career and relationships. You are meant to kind of establish that balance and have success in both of these areas. But because your energy is so unique, it's so high vibrating, you know, that's where your intuition is trying to kick in to help get you into the right path and the right way to express your gifts or to show your gifts. So I do want to say that maybe some of you have been kind of trying to focus all on one or the other, maybe kind of taking a step back in your career and focusing on love and relationships and family or the opposite. You're all full into a career and your job in climbing that scale and haven't been, you know, connecting to your relationships or your spirituality as much. So I want to say that this is the time now for you guys to start to figure out how you can have this balance because you need this balance of work and career and, um, relationships and healing and spirituality and being a Pisces you're meant to experience that I mean we kind of forget the duplicity of Pisces Pisces is gifted with the earthly and the divine and I think even though some of you may believe you can't achieve both or that both are unattainable not for you in this life Pisces and that's part of the miracles that are coming in so yeah, I do feel like you are meant to be blessed in both your home life and your career. But some of you guys are still trying to figure out how to balance that and how you can have the, the need for both and how they can both be executed in a way that makes you feel in balance, in peace, in harmony. Isis is here to help you with that. Isis is a divine protector and will give you strong intuitive hunches of when something's not right or when to follow through on something. So really Pisces, trust your gut instinct. Isis gave you that gift. And some of you guys, you know, your with this crone energy, your spiritual gifts go all the way back to ancient priesthood. Wow. What is Pisces advice for this lifetime spirit? of their gifts, their talents, of what they're meant to do. What is your advice for Pisces to keep in mind? Number 10. And it says, no longer holds power over you. I don't know why they wrote it that way. But dissolve attachments of the past with love. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was talking about with specifically, um, it could have been a family member. I hope it wasn't a romantic partner, but just someone that wanted you to be something you were not. And from their inability to accept that, they put unreasonable amount of pressure on you to dim yourself or to dim your gifts or to not trust your intuition. And spirit wants to come and say, Pisces, that era of your life where you can't trust yourself of where you can't trust your gifts you can't trust your intuition is coming to an end because that really is your greatest gift and it should no longer have a say in how you pursue something and what you want to pursue because what you're intuitively guided to do is meant to be your purpose isn't meant to be a part of your path so 
when those feelings of doubt, insecurity, and fears start to come up because you're about to enter the unknown and you're not certain how it's going to be, you're drawn to it for a reason. And the only thing that's holding you back is the fears that someone planted in you from their own inability to take chances. So remind yourself of that, Pisces. You're gifted beyond belief. All right, Pisces, let's go ahead and get one more card for you guys. And this is going to be a crystal card. And I'm going to read the excerpt from the book because I think it explains the purpose of the crystal so beautifully. And this could be a crystal you have to work with. This could be a crystal you want to go out and buy, or even if it's kind of expensive, just call in the energy and remember these words as I read them when you're experiencing certain needs of guidance and advice and clarity. But anything else we can tell Pisces Spirit in regards to their gift and their divine purpose in this world? Rhodazite. Okay, number 43. So let's go ahead and see what the gifts of this card brings and how it's meant to help you understand your divine purpose this lifetime. Rhodazite. Mighty power. Zingi rhodazite is excellent for removing blockages and for adding vitality to the physical body. It cleanses, activates, and powers up all the chakras and harmonizes the etheric bodies. This crystal encourages the flow of kundalini energy to all the cells and the spaces between. Karmic imprints from your past lives or emotional wounds from earlier in your present life may be creating a state of psycho psychosomatic disease. Your own negative or compulsive thought patterns also play a part as you can though can as can those of other people directed towards you, excuse me, Mercury retrograde. Check out the harmony or lack of it in your environment. Earth energies may be disrupting your well-being. The ground around your workplace and your home may need healing and stabilizing by planting suitable crystals in the earth. Healing insight, living in a healthy, stable environment creates a stable physical body. Frequency, earthy and high. Chakra, earth star, solar plexus, casual vortex. The timing is in autumn for this crystal. Soul path, healing the earth. Okay, so a message coming through loud and clear for me, Pisces, is with this emotional sensitivity. You are profoundly affected by your environment, and that's just Pisces energy. You know how to be a chameleon and kind of be an energy that is called for to make the space comfortable, to make others comfortable. Um, but you are not meant to mold into anything that is not of your true essence. And even if there are not many like you, that doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong. You are one of a kind and you're meant to be a one of a kind in this lifetime with everything you give to the world, with your gifts, with your talents, with your nature. This is something that actually needs to be amplified than decreased so if there's anything in your environment that's discouraging you from being who you are it's time to clear that out because it's just blocking you from the miracles that you're meant to bring into this world Pisces and I believe you can do this you have everything you just need to believe in yourself and it'll happen Thank you so, so much, Pisces, for joining me for this beautiful reading. I really hope it resonated with you. I hope it gave you clarity, insight, healing, and guidance in regards to your spiritual gifts and what you're meant to bring into this world this lifetime. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Pisces, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Pisces.